Today's picks and videos are brought thanks to Saber Manx Cat. The Manx is an ancient cat breed hailing from the Isle of Man, a medieval island located in the Irish Sea between England and Ireland. While their exact origin is a matter of some debate, there are many folk tales about the Manx rooted in the cat's characteristic lack of a long tail. The most interesting, but also least genetically accurate, is that the Manx was napping while Noah was loading all the animals onto his ark. She awakened just as Noah was closing the door, and made it in the ark just in time, but Noah closed the door on her tail, accidentally cutting it off. However, in actuality, the absence of a tail arises from a spontaneous genetic mutation, and due to the island's small size and relative isolation from the mainland, combined with the mutation's high degree of penetration, the Manx gene became the dominant trait. Initially, the breed's name was typically spelled Manx or Stubborn in colloquial terms on the Isle. In the Manx Gaelic language, a Celtic language spoken on the Isle of Man, the modern name of the breed is Kate Mananak, literally Cat of Man, or Kate Cuddlet, Bobtailed Cat. The Manx was one of the original show cats in the first cat show held in Great Britain, with its first known breed standard published in 1903. The first Manx champion was a silver tabby Manx named Benhaki. The Manx was one of the founding breeds of the Cat Fanciers Association in 1908. The United States Pedigreed Cat Registry has records on the breed in North America from the 1920s. Although the chief defining characteristic feature of the Manx cats is the absence of a tail, not all are tailless. Actually, Manx cats' tails are classified into one of five categories according to proportional tail length as kittens, which does not change after birth. Rumpy or Dimple Rumpy A Manx having no tail at all. Your hand will slide down the rump without stopping or feeling any protuberance. Riser or Rumpy Riser These cats have a bump of cartilage under the fur, most noticeable when they are happy and raising their tail end. Stumpy a cat having a partial tail of vestigial, fused vertebrae, up to about 3 cm, 1 inch long. Stubby, shorty, or short-tailed. A manx having a short tail of non-fused bones, up to about half an average cat tail. Lungy, tailed, or taily. Manx cats having a half to normal length tail. Since the early days of breed recognition, Manx show cats have been rumpy through stumpy specimens, with stubby and lungy Manx not qualifying to be shown. Although these longer tail types are of purebred Manx ancestry, they do not possess the dominant gene, so cannot pass it on. The Manx is not the only short-tailed cat in the world, nor are all non-tailed cats automatically Manx. While the Manx breed is genetically distinct from the Japanese bobtail breed, another naturally occurring insular breed, the pixie bob, may be genetically related to the Manx. Besides their characteristic tail, Manx are noted for their rounded appearance. Their heads are round, their eyes are round, their ears have a rounded shape, and their hind legs are noticeably longer than their front, so their rumps rest above their front shoulders, giving them a rounded shape when they stand or move. Manx are broad-chested cats with sloping shoulders and flat sides. The shape is often described as rabbit-like. Manx cats exhibit two coat lengths. They can have either long or short hair, but all have a dense, plush double coat. Short-haired is the more common variation of Manx, and has an outer coat that is somewhat hard and glossy. While the long-haired Manx, known to some cat registries as the Kimrick, has a silky textured coat of medium length, with breeches, belly and neck ruff, tufts of fur between the toes, and full ear furnishings. The CFA considers the Kimrick to be a variety of Manx, and judges it in the short hair division, while the International Cat Association judges it in the long hair division as a distinct breed. The coat pattern and color range widely. Manx cats have been found in virtually every color and pattern combination, with all white coats or color-pointed Manx being the rarest, and orange, tabby, and tortoiseshell being the most common. Manx are medium-sized, stocky, and heavily boned cats. The Manx weighs 7 to 13 pounds, 3 to 6 kilograms, and feels surprisingly heavy when lifted. They have a lifespan of around 13 years. The required level of physical activity is medium. 
A Manx doesn't have a ton in the way of special requirements or desires, and is well suited to any home with people who will love him. Since all cats with double coats shed more than those with a single coat, Manx cats are prone to shedding, particularly in the spring and fall. A long-haired Manx will require more intensive grooming than a short-haired Manx, but a regular brushing schedule is important, no matter the coat length. Brushing is needed to keep the coat in smooth condition as the undercoat will build up over time if this brushing is neglected. As with dull cats, you need to clean their ears if they look dirty, and to keep their nails trimmed, so they don't click-clack across the floor or accidentally scratch you while making biscuits. The Manx cat doesn't have unique exercise needs but benefits from about 30 minutes of designated playtime due to its playful nature. They might lack a tail, but even without a natural counterweight to aid their balance, Manx cats have a powerful rear end and are excellent jumpers. Manx are natural hunters, so your Manx will be engaged by small plush toys that mimic trapping and retrieving. Manx must have their nutrition strictly controlled in order to keep them in good condition. They tend to have a wonderful appetite and can become overweight rather quickly. The Manx cat is a unique-looking, affectionate, and friendly cat. Although they are known to hunt rodents and insects, their hunting instincts don't translate to an aggressive temperament. Instead, the Manx is gentle, highly social, and playful, sometimes said to be dog-like in their loyalty and trainability. It is not unusual to find them playing fetch or carrying their toys around. The loving, even-tempered Manx cat will likely get along with all family members, and provide many years of affection and companionship. Multi-pet homes will find Manx to be an affable, sweet-tempered addition as long as they are introduced to their new furry siblings gradually. Same goes with children. However, since children tend to get excited, and they may do something like try to corner or pick them up, the most important when introducing cats and children is letting the cat learn to come over to the child, rather than the other way. While Manx are generally healthy, and although they don't exhibit problems with balance, because balance is controlled primarily by the inner ear, there are issues tied specifically to their taillessness. Among the several health issues related to genetic abnormalities is Manx syndrome. This is a colloquial name for a condition that results when the tailless gene shortens the spine too much. This can result in seriously damaged spinal cord nerves leading to problems with the bowels, bladder, and gastrointestinal tract. This can cause issues like incontinence or constipation. The condition affects approximately 20% of Manx cats, most often rumpies, and usually shows up by the time the kitten is 4 months old, a good reason to wait until that age before bringing a Manx kitten home. Furthermore, some Manx with partial tails are prone to a form of arthritis of the tailbone. And last but not least, the breed is also predisposed to a genetic condition called corneal dystrophy, a cloudiness that begins to develop when a kitten is approximately four months old. It is for these reasons that a Manx breeder will typically watch for health issues in the cat during the first four to six months of life. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that each new subscriber and positive comment motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.